Hey, what are you doing? Welcome to the Econo Challenge. We just arrived at our campsite by the lake, and as you can tell, it's been raining. So it's been a very wet start to the 2016 Econo Challenge. So as you can see, the boys came out of retirement for this trip. Mountain House chicken teriyaki with rice. She works at Green Dormant for possibly 10 years. Started the first trip. I'm really excited for the next seven days. We're going to rest up here for the night because we got to climb that tomorrow. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two. The theme yesterday, after the last shot, was rain. Setting up in the rain, cooking in the rain, going to bed in the rain. So there wasn't a lot of filming. But hopefully today the weather's better so we can dry out. Just cooking up a little breakfast this morning. We went to see the Quaker. Peaches and cream happens to be one of my favorites. Tastes really good out here. So, how'd you sleep, Steph? Well, it was uh, it's a bit of a rough night. Uh, a lot of rain yesterday, so I didn't get this set up quite as well as I'd hoped for. So I did the bevy in the hammock, and uh, halfway through the night, the uh, hammock kind of enclosed me. Got very hot, and I got a bit claustrophobic. So I uh, I hopped out of the hammock wearing my bevy. Almost fell over, so I decided I should probably get out of it. Crawled under the uh, the tarp that uh, Jeep had set up and uh, tried to make myself as comfortable as possible. The ground was not very level, but uh, eventually managed to get it set up well enough that uh, I could get a few hours sleep. And uh, just had breakfast. I feel much better now. Had one of my daughter's uh, awesome peanut butter cookies, and uh, happy birthday! I Steph. feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Where'd you find that, man? Oh, I just saw it on the shoreline, you know, things that don't look uh, natural that catch my eye, and... Birthday balloon. Steph just had a birthday, so... Happy and birthday, it's, Steph. Uh, it's your birthday in the... Uh, coming up? Yeah. Anyway, it's weeks. garbage, I'll take it with me. I'll leave the place better than the way I found it. What you're looking at behind me is the boat that we found at this campsite yesterday. And Tom propped up to provide shelter from the rainstorms that we had yesterday. So they actually sheltered underneath this boat and it's affectionately nicknamed Boaty McBoatface now. I'm sure you're familiar with that story. If not, look it up online. So I'll just give you guys a little bit of an update. We're about halfway up the ridge that we need to climb today to our second campsite. And we just stopped here to try and dry out our boots and have a spot of lunch. And as you can see here, we've got everything spread out on this rock ridge, hoping the sun will come out. What better place to have a cliff bar than on a cliff? <laughs> 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 
we have arrived at our second campsite but not without a little stop for a spectacular swim oh man it was amazing what are you cooking up today black bark chili is on the menu for tonight's black bark chili i believe somebody has had that once before is it any good i don't remember <laughs> you'll have to let us know this is Steph's bivy setup for tonight down here. But what I really like is his Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> right here. Now Steph has finished his black bark chili. So let's find out how it's, how it's tasting. Having my black bark chili. Looks a lot like chili. Tastes very good. It's got a bit of bite to it, but uh, not too much and it uh, looks like it was cooked to perfection. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Ooh, eight out of 10. I'm gonna have to try that one for sure. Help and air. Are you worried about storms tonight? <clears throat> nope. They're not. You're really sitting out there. I know. <sighs> it's a risk you take for a sweet spot level ground. If any storms come in off this lake we'll know where to find them. Somewhere in the water. <laughs> Normally I have add water and eat freeze-dried meals and they're really convenient but they get a bit expensive so this year I'm trying my own add water and eat meals, so to speak. Limited cook, let's call them that. I was inspired by Alberta Bushcrafter to see if I could come up with some recipes that were seven, eight, or nine. So tonight we're going to be trying out my version of shrimp fettuccine. So the first thing I had to do was start hydrating the shrimp because they're gonna take the longest. And we'll light up the Trangia and the Bushcraft Essentials stand. Add our water and hydrated shrimp. And now we'll add the rest of our water. And then our powdered mixture. Now we'll just let that come to a boil. So the key to this one working out is what's in this powdered mixture and this is some seafood chowder I picked up at my bulk food store and some powdered sour cream that I made, some powdered butter and some powdered milk. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now it looks like we've come to a boil. Hello. Now it's time to add our noodles. And we'll just let that simmer away until the noodles are soft. And we'll let it sit for about 10 minutes. Oh, this restaurant, she comes with a beautiful view, don't you think? I think it's been slightly longer than 10 minutes. Now watch. Ah. It's not as soupy as I thought it would be, but I definitely could have used a little less water. Let's try one of the shrimp first. Mmm. They're hydrated properly. Oh, that's a really good flavor. Now, it's really hard for me to judge this on a 0 to 10 scale because I put an awful lot of work into dehydrating all the ingredients including the shrimp and the noodles. And the flavor primarily was created by whoever made the seafood chowder for the bulk barn. But this combination out here, it's really good. Mm. It's definitely as good as anything that I've had from the manufacturers. I think this recipe is at least 
a 7, quite possibly an 8 out of 10. So, Alberta Brush Crafter, if you happen to be watching, this is one that I can send you. <laughs> and on the third day, they had sun. Good morning, everyone. Ha, <laughs>